Hey, what's up YouTube? In this video, I'll be showing you how to make your very own giant Coke can in Minecraft. Here are all of the materials that we will need to make our Coke can. Please do make sure that you have access to all those materials and enough of them as well. And now that we have all of our stuff, let's get started. So the first thing that we have to do is make the circumference of the can, which is basically just the end circular part. It will kind of help us make the entire shape, including all the details. So start off by placing seven red concrete in a row on the ground. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Place an upright diagonal and go right by one. Place two upright diagonals, one, two, and go up by one. Place an upright diagonal and go up by six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Place an up left diagonal and then go up by one. Place two up left diagonals, one and two, and go left by one. Place an up left diagonal and go left by six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Place a bottom left diagonal and go left by one. Two bottom left diagonals, so that's gonna be one and two. Go down by one and then place a bottom left diagonal. Go down by six, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then place a bottom right diagonal, down one, two bottom right diagonals, one and two, and go right by one. And the end result should be this circle right here. But it's not just a circle. We want to come to the right side of the circle. We want to come all the way down to the bottom of the long part of the circle. So where we have the row of seven, you wanna come down to the very bottom block and you wanna go right to the bottom block by three. One, two, three. You then wanna place yourself a white concrete, go up on top of it by one, left two, up four, one, two, three, four. Go right two, one, two, and then down by one. Place a red concrete to the right, a white right of that, up one, right by two, go down by four, one, two, three, four, go left two, up and connect. You then want to come to the right side of the letter that you've made and you want to come to the bottom right hand corner block, up one, place two white concrete going right. Go up by three, one, two, three, right two. You want to take the first white concrete block that we started extending up from and go down one, right two, red concrete to the right, white on top, go right, down, but then also up by three, one, two, three. Go right two, one, two. You wanna go down by four, one, two, three, four. You wanna place a red concrete, number one, inside the top of the shape that we've just made, and number two, to the right of the bottom of it. What that will then allow you to do is place a white concrete underneath the first red concrete, and a white concrete on top of the second. We then want to go right one, and then we wanna go up by one, two, three, right two, you wanna go down by one. You then wanna come back to the block that we started extending up from and you wanna go down one, right two. You then wanna place yourself a red concrete to the right, white concrete on top, white concrete right, up by three, one, two, three, right two. Go down by four, so that's one, two, three, four. Go left and join back. You then want to place a red concrete to the right of the bottom of our letter with a white concrete on top. You then want to place a white concrete to the right. And then you want to do something really crazy actually. You want to go up by three, right, red concrete underneath, place a white to the right of the red and below the red as well. And then underneath the white concrete that we started extending up from, you wanna go down. 
and then right by two, one, two, red concrete to the right, white on top, white to the right, you want to go down, but then also up by three, so one, two, three, right by two, you want to go all the way down so that it's even and level with the opposite side of your letter. You want to place a red concrete underneath the top of the letter with a white concrete just underneath it. We are missing one slight bit of detail and I can tell you what that is. The second C, you want to kind of like extend the top of it down. So we have this nice stylized lettering and that's, that's exactly what we're going for. Okay, so first of all, before we start continuing making loads of other details, I want you to take the row of two red concrete that we have underneath the long row of red concrete that we have just up above us, right? I want you to take the two rows of red and stretch them out a little bit. It, you don't have to stretch them out very far. The point of it is that I want to show you that where we have the, like the part that extends down from the very first letter, which is the C, you want to place diagonally to the right underneath it, like where the can would fold under. So here you want to place a white concrete and you want to extend to the right by 12. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then uh, I'll have to keep counting actually. I thought I had more red. So you want to extend right by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, 10, 11, 12, just like this, right? And then we're going to want to extend down one and to the right. So just like this, okay? We are going to want to now add a few more rows of red onto our can. So we're going to add two rows of red to the right side of our last letter, which is going to be A, okay? <laughs> a, okay. And what this is going to be is this is the end of the can, if that makes sense. So this is where the can actually stops. So you can extend every single red concrete, and I do mean every single one of them. There's quite a few of them as well. <laughs> it's quite a big build, this one. You can extend every single red concrete across to the right, just like this. And this is how far the can will actually extend. So I guess that we may as well just do this with all of the red parts of our can. We might as well make the body of the can, or at least the front of the body. Um, this is where, if you wanted to, and th this is completely up to you, like this is an optional extra sort of thing, because you can do this with most things that you build, especially if they're big enough and if they've got any sort of a hollow uh, presence to them, then you'll be able to do it is. So if you want to, you can take your coke can and you can turn it into a house. Right now it's pretty much just a statue and by the way it's also worth mentioning that you don't have to fill in the very bottom of the coke can if you don't want to because no one's actually ever going to see it right unless you do actually turn the inside into a house then you're probably going to have to fill it in but otherwise I'm going to save myself some rows. But if you did indeed want to live inside your coke can house then you are more than able to there's a huge amount of space and um, I mean honestly you could do much worse for houses it's uh, it's a pretty <laughs> it's a pretty hefty size I mean the interior space is a lot bigger than some of the houses that I've that I've made and honestly if you were trying to hide a house in Minecraft you could probably do lot a lot worse than a giant cat there's something else as well, by the way. So, you know, there's a, there's a lot of ifs, ands, or buts with this build. If you want, you can apply the details. So, the Coca-Cola writing and the little bit of flair and stuff that we're adding to the can. You can apply that to the back of this as well. Um, you're going to have to do it in one of two ways if you are going to do it. Number one, you can trace it from the front, which I, which by that I mean like you can look at it and you can pl apply it onto the back as it is. That'll mean that it's backwards <laughs> as you read it. Or you can go and re-watch or, you know, recreate it yourself. You might not even necessarily have to watch it. Um, the part of the tutorial where we cover the lettering. And of course, you you would just have to start on the uh, left-hand side, which would be, like, over here. You'd start off by going, like, 
go right by free from this block or however many blocks it indeed was. But if you did want to have the detail on both sides of the cam, then that is what you would have to do. You'd have to make a decision on number one, do you want it to be the same way? If yes, then you've uh, you've almost got to, like I said, you've got to do that particular part of the tutorial again. But um, that's completely up to you. I mean, it, it should hopefully be rather easy to do if you were compelled to do such a thing. When it comes to the red part of the can, I'll call it, the body of the can, we have almost finished all of the detail, but there is just one little thing, and I don't quite know what to call this, it's it's kind of like a spiral, it's like, almost like a little bit of kind of like a swoosh or something, but there's this like long line of white that is like what big on one end and then it kind of like goes in and then it's like big on the other end like but in the opposite direction again i don't quite know what to call it it's kind of like a little swooshy sort of thing um and that is something that we are going to be adding to the cam but as usual it's almost easier almost always easier to add something to uh something to something rather than like make it out of thin air which is what we would have to do otherwise but after going all the way around, and I can't believe that we've finally done that, <laughs> that is the can itself. That is the main body of the can. So, let's do the swoosh, as I have so eloquently called it. The swoosh starts on the left side, on the upper side of the can, where we have the row of two red concrete. We want to take the upper row of red concrete and place a row of ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, of white concrete, we want to place a row of 10 white concrete inside the row of red extending inwards. Additionally, we want to do the same thing on the right side of the can, but we want to take the top row of two that we have here and we want to take the outward row, of course, and we want to have the same row of 10. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 10. And we want to have our row of 10. Now, the connecting force between these is that we can knock out this entire row of red in between like this, oh no, and then we can replace it using white concrete. I saved one of the blocks so that I could place the white concrete and then I destroyed it. <laughs> and that will give us the swoosh like this. Uh, what else do we have to do when it comes to what, again, I'll call the body of the can. Um, place some red concrete in between all the letters. We have to also apply to the can, we have to do the uh, the bottom of the can, which is kind of a little bit shapely, it uses some light grey concrete. And we have to do the top of the can, of course, which is where one would actually drink from, unless you pour it into a glass, like, uh, like somebody who doesn't like to drink out of cans. And uh, we can even add a little bit of Coca-Cola as well, which, um, again, you know, a, a lot of these are optional extras, so... Um, I think, what well, you know what, shall we start with the more complicated part, because we've been doing all the hard parts so far, we might as well continue on and we'll finish up with something dead easy. Okay, so, we have to add a row of red concrete inside the end of our can. When I say the inside, I, I mean one row going all the way around the inside, but simultaneously one row outwards, because you guys have seen the top of a can before, even if it's not, if for some reason you've not seen a Coca-Cola can, which is, I mean, pretty impossible, right? I mean, I, I think that Coke's pretty much everywhere, but if for some reason you haven't seen it, you guys know what the shape of a can is, like, um, you've got the middle part, which is pretty consistent in its shape, and then it slowly, slowly shrinks up towards the top, and then it, like, brims out again with the lip of the can, so we want to do that not only once with red concrete, but we actually want to do it again. We want to, uh, one more time, take the red concrete, and we want to kind of, like, extend out but also extend in the red concrete that is the previous layer. So just like this, going all the way around. And once we've done that, we're going to use like gray concrete and we'll be going around the edge of what we've just made. So now we've kind of extended inwards and you can see we've done a pretty good job of that if I do say so myself. We're gonna now take the light gray concrete and we're going to extend the light gray all the way around the edge of what we've just made. So um, extending outwards just like this um, will 
make the exact same shape. So here, here, all the way around like this. I want to go around in a big circle and join back. So perfect. That is exactly what we want to have. Now we are going to extend that, I do believe, one more row towards us. So we're not extending it in any sort of weird direction this time. We're not going in, we're not going out, we're not going, we're not shaking it all about. Um, we're literally just do the hokey cokey. <laughs> hokey cokey. Coca Cola. Ah. Ah. Uh, clever. Anyway, we've got to, we're going to place the light grey concrete all the way around just like this. And then we're going to take the initial layer of the light grey concrete. And we're going to extend it across like this. So we're going to completely fill in the first initial row of light grey concrete. Leaving exposed the second layer which is kind of like sticking out and giving shape to the... Uh, yeah, what I'll call it is the lip of the can I suppose. Because I, I, I guess that's what it is. Um, we just want to fill all this in. And that leaves us a little bit of a boring area. But we can make it a lot better. You see, you can come to the bottom of this area. You can find the middle block. Hopefully it won't be too difficult. You can move one row upwards. Destroy that block. And also left and right. Destroy two rows above. So that's actually three rows above, I do believe. One, two, three. Whoops. Replace that. You want to take the two middle rows on the left and the right side. You want to destroy them. Above this, you want to place a horizontal row of light grey concrete. You want to take the left block, up one, left one, up by three, right one, up one, right two, down, right, down by three, left. And then you want to place yourself just a little light grey concrete right in the middle, underneath the top two corners of the two um, like dangling corners of the light grey concrete like this. And that is the ring pull, and that is the, uh, I suppose, the mouth of the can, so where you would actually drink from. And I'm going to place brown concrete directly behind this hole, almost as if Coke is just behind the threshold of there. Uh, and what I'm now going to do is I'm going to create a small pool of Coke. This is optional. Um, kind of like dripping down from the can and pulling on the floor. So it doesn't really matter how you do this exactly, how big this hole is. I'm not going to make it very big myself. Um, but it's obviously the bigger that you do this, the more time that you put into this, the more the, the better it will look, quite frankly. But, you know, it depends how much time you want to devote to it. But the idea is to place some glass, some brown concrete in the ground. The glass... We'll, pr we'll probably want to also have brown concrete underneath it. Otherwise, it might look a little bit goofy, actually. Kind of like this, right? So you can place some brown concrete kind of like around. A little bit of glass around as well. The glass just makes it look more liquid. Um, I, I realize that we've actually kind of just built kind of like almost like a square here. So, you know, something like this would look fine. You could even go a little bit deeper into the ground and then you would have to place more brown concrete and then uh, a little bit more glass and you can add paint and stuff to the side of this. And, you know, you can just make it look all nice. But um, the idea is the same no matter how much uh, attention you uh, pay to it is that there's a bit of uh, coke trickling out at the end of the can. Now, last thing. This is the last thing. On the bottom of the can, we are going to place a row of light grey concrete that sits all the way around the inside of the bottom of the can. So this is the same technique that we've used a few times already, so I'm sure, sure that you guys will have absolutely no trouble doing this. Um, the only thing is that like, this is where the bottom ends, meaning it doesn't come out any further than this. So once we have placed this row of light grey that kind of like protrudes out the bottom of the can, which is uh, where it would uh, sit on sit on its bottom, I suppose, um, you want to, once you have, have this shape kind of like extending out the bottom of the can, you then want to add a layer of light grey concrete that sits inside of this. Um, 
So it's again, it's actually very similar to what we did at the opposite end of the can, in which we have the two rows of light grey, and then we took the first row of light grey, the inward row, and then we kind of like just filled in the area. Um, pretty much the exact same concept, and all we want to do, of course, is just make it so that there we go. Uh, we just we just want to have uh, a cool shape. So here and here and here. Perfect, so that is the end of the can. We have the logo, we have the top. You can turn this into an entrance to a house. We have Coke spilling out. What more could you possibly want? That's it, ladies and gentlemen. I do hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please do remember to hit that like button as it really helps me in the trail out very, very much. If you're new around here, please do consider subscribing and clicking the little bell next to the subscription button. That'll ensure that you get all my stuff sent directly to your sub box. And if you do want to make anything else by me, check out the card system in the description below in the top of the comment section for more. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. I love you all very much, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.